you. Love is a wonderful journey. It has a start, a middle and an end. And a new one begins today as you stand in front of family and friends. Your love, it started off so small and grew as time went by. You've had your shares of ups and downs, your lows and your highs. But what is love, they ask? Is it sealed with a kiss? No, it's lots of silly things, the little things you'd miss. She's kind-hearted, my best friend. He can't help but want to shout. She is beautiful from head to toe, inside and out. He's her world, her everything. He loves her like no other. She's amazing just the way she is. He can't wait to make you a mother. <laughs> He's her ginger, she's his winger. <laughs> she loves him for lots of reasons, even all the injuries sustained during the footy season. <laughs> She makes her smile, she pushes him that extra mile, he gives her butterflies in her tummy. For some reason, he thinks you're funny. <laughs> A new journey begins today, the first of many memories. Your beautiful wedding day. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lana. Elizabeth, I give you this ring. 
Elizabeth, I give you this ring. As a token of my love and affection. As a token of my love and affection. And as a symbol of our marriage. And as a symbol of our marriage. Please wear it as a reminder. Please wear it as a reminder. Of my love for you. As my love for you. Today, tomorrow and in the years to come. Today, tomorrow and in the years to come. Ben, I give you this ring. Ben, I give you this ring. As a token of my love and affection. As a token of my love and affection. And as a symbol of our marriage. And as a symbol of our marriage. Please wear it as a reminder. Please wear it as a reminder. Of my love for you. Of my love for you. Today, tomorrow and in the years to come. Today, tomorrow and in the years to come. You have both made the declarations that are prescribed by law and have formed a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your guests here today. I am delighted to declare that you are now husband and wife. <laughs> Once in a lifetime, you find someone who touches not only your heart, but also your soul. Once in a lifetime, you discover someone who stands beside you, not over you. You find someone who loves you for who you are, and not for who you could be. Once in a lifetime, you find someone as you, Libby and Ben, have found each other.
says the day where Bert Elizabeth has been my baby girl and get married won't change that. I watched her grow into a beautiful young lady and I am as proud as proud of her as you could be from the first day that I met her in her life. Libby has always known exactly what she wanted out of life and I admire her for that. What else can I do? And I guess Ben does as well. Ben is a real gentleman, a true friend. You and Elizabeth complement each other in many ways, and your differences spice the life of and will make your marriage anything but for it. Elizabeth and Ben's, your marriage is a sign of hope for us all. Thank you for today and for all the memories of tomorrow that you shall grow together. And I'd like to raise my glass to the bride. We live first met on a first in our albums and heroes. It was actually the night before this 21st birthday. I saw one of my friends talking to this lovely lady and thought, I need to make my way over there and hope he introduces me. Thankfully for me, he did. I'm not the best when it comes to meeting people for the first time, I'm pretty shy, but luckily for me, Liv had enough chat for the both of us, so we we'll soon hit it off. Um, she was having a birthday party that weekend, which she invited me to, um, and not even before I'd made it home, she already had me on Facebook, so she was on it. Liv's family have always been great, been welcoming into the family and it always made me feel welcome in all the family events. There's a lot of them. <laughs> Linda has been great the whole time that we and Linda live together. She often jokes and thanks me for taking the live off her hands. <laughs> but I'm the one that needs, needs to say thank you. She's raised a wonderful daughter. Now for my parents. <laughs> I'm very lucky to have two amazing parents. They've both been there for me when I need them, and my whole life they've supported me from ups and downs. I wouldn't be the man I am today without them, and I know if I ever needed them, they're there, and I'm truly proud to really call you Mum and Dad. Now on to the most important part of my speech, my wife. Me and Liv have been together now for five and a half years, and I can truthfully say that this has been the best and happiest years of my life. We've lived together for just over four years, and we've already achieved so much. Just under two years ago, we decided to take the plunge and buy a house together. It was a lot of hard work and a very stressful time, and there's still work that needs to be done. We now have a lovely bungalow that us and our two little cats can go home. That's <laughs> natural I can honestly say that I don't know where I'll be without it. Being with Liv makes me want to be the best I can be, so I can be a husband that you can be proud of. I know that waking up every day knowing I have such a beautiful and loving wife on my side is all I need. I'm so glad I decided to go out that cold January night, because if I hadn't, I wouldn't have met the love of my life and my best friends. I'm so happy that I'm going to be tackling life with you, and I know that anything that life has to show for us really will be fine. If you want my side, good stories. So, um, all I've got left is one last toast. So, we will be standing. Me as well? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My beautiful bride, my wife, to live in. When your legs don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you off of your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? 
Will your eyes still smile from your cheek? Darling, I will be loving you till we're 70. And baby, my heart could still fall as hard at 23. And I'm thinking about. Maybe we 